Hello and welcome. Oh, there's just a lot of noise going on at this station, which is hardly surprising, as it's our main freight hub. Anyway, yes, hello, my name is Ajax Post, and this is Transport Fever, the one hub Let's Play Speed Build series. And, uh, and welcome. Um, what I would, thought I'd just do to start with, thank you, bye bye Mr Train, you're my freight hub number one route. Uh, my, pro my, my most profitable route in the game so far, which is hardly surprising. Um, okay, so what I thought we'd do here before we start this gate, this episode off, is just give you an insight into the progress we're making in terms of one of our in ambitions, one of our goals in this series, which was to set our main town. There, it, whoop, whoop, let's get control of the cursor. Our main town here of Olgetto Monument Valley. Um, one of the sort of aims of this series was to make that a mat real metropolis of 10,000 people. Well, that's a lovely noise, isn't it? A real macho whistle. Oh, that'll be on the farm freight train here, I imagine. Um, yeah, one of the goals was to try and make, create a city of uh, 10,000 people. Um, and my way of doing that was to create this town as the hub of all activity in, in the entire region of this map, which is a Monument Valley map which is a uh, mod, uh, and there'll be a link for that in the description below if you want to play on this map too. It is rather fun. Um, now, it is possible, I think, to get huge towns, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. It's taken me a while so far. In 1960, and we started in 1900, and so far we have reached... We're just under 3,000, rather, at the moment. We did hit 3,000, but we've had one of our little dips in population which happens every now and then, it sort of goes up, there's a little dip as it sort of closes down some districts and rebuilds uh, on the AI, that is. So we're moving towards our goal, um, hopefully we'll get there, but if we don't, it's going to be fun trying, to say the least. And as you can see here, we are now in May of 1960, and we're already 21 million in the black, so it's a very nice profitable map now. Now, we spent a couple of episodes looking at passengers, and one thing I want to do here is concentrate on the freight. Um, freight, um, because I am i don't pay enough attention to it, always needs tinkering with. Well, this is nice, loads of trains pulling up here. Um, we're going to concentrate on this and try and enhance and deal with some of the backlogs we've got going on in our main distribution hub here. Um, as you can see, we've got a lot of fuel building up here, so I want to start shipping that more effectively. Um, our farm is producing loads and loads and loads of wheat which is getting here and we're kind of filling up the warehouse here so we need to distribute that a bit more effectively. Um, the main distribution as you recall if you watch the rest of the series uh, to most of the map is out of this bigger hub here um, which takes all the fuel and food and distributes it to all these other cities around, well a lot of the other cities around the map. We've uh, only got about six, I think, connected so far. So my plan for today is improve a couple of um, the existing routes to hopefully get more f more of this uh, freight delivered uh, more quickly um, and also introduce at least one new town. And I'm thinking going over on this side of the map. And as you can see, the towns are in quite close proximity. So I think we might have another little cargo hub here. And then perhaps use trucks to deliver to each of the these three towns here. Now the interesting thing here is that we do have another construction materials plant here, which uh, yeah, there's the, there's the quarry, there's the stone. So we could use that uh, as another um, freight type. We are already shipping stone and construction materials from this side of the map up to our major distribution hub here. But it might be nice to have another one uh, for this corner of the map uh, to get that sort of sent out through here. So I think placing it somewhere in proximity to, to this uh, industry uh, here would be good as well. A couple of other things I'm just going to sort of tidy up as well. Um, it kind of annoyed me when I after I did it. But on this side of the map we've got this one route. Old Jetto Monument Valley to Big Injun which isn't terribly profitable. Uh, it's only been running 
uh, four years, I think, isn't it? It's not yet made a profit. Um, and a couple of things that annoyed me about it. One is, A, it's not making money, and B, it's actually a diesel. But I had intended to make all this side of the map electric. So I'm going to replace that, I think, with an electric. Uh, possibly slightly smaller consist as well. Um, which will uh, hopefully bring it into profit at some point. And then also, I've been planning to do this for absolutely ages, <laughs> but never quite got round to it. Um, as you see here, our main freight route cuts right through the middle of our capital city, Old Jetto Monument Valley. And I thought it would be nice for the residents living here not to have such easy view, not to be so disturbed by these freight trains hurtling through their town. I actually put up some sound barriers now. I did. F there they are. Let's put these up here. Now the only issue, of course, with these is that it actually highlights all the track, and most of this station is underground, so it makes it a little bit awkward to place. But they do seem to snap into position here. So first part of this little episode, I think, if I can, oh dear, if I can get that there, you go and that one. Will that this snap to that too, or it will? If I come out of there, yep, a nice little sound barrier, which sort of protects the inhabitants and the businesses uh, of the city from the uh, from these uh, very noisy, smelly, and um, they actually go quite fast. I think through here as well. These these freight trains. So that's all we'll do. Good grief, that's a busy bus station, isn't it? That's the trouble with mixing up um, trams and buses. Um, they get yeah, congested. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what we can do there. It was working quite well, I think. People are getting through, which is fine, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Right, so what I will do is I will stop talking very shortly, and, um, and I'll start the speed build section of this video. So I will say at this point, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video, the speed build section. If you do, do click on that little thumbs up, leave us a like, it would be very much appreciated. Um, also, if you have any thoughts, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms even, anything you feel like saying, just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be absolutely awesome. It would be great to hear from you, whatever you've got to say. And of course, if you've not done so already, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload another one of, another one of these or any more of my uh, any of the other Let's Play series. How fast is this? It's only 43. It's not that fast, is it? Hmm. Well, whatever. <laughs> they need protection from the from those train lines. Uh, so yes, thank you very much again. I, I will be off now, and uh, I'll hand over to the soundtrack for the speed build, and I'll see you again soon in the next episode. But until then, from me, Ajax Post. Bye bye for now.
Thank you.